we're going to be learning today we're going to discuss about the uh, water walls uh, water water walls their advantages purpose uh, and types of water walls so let's start uh, so kindly subscribe my channel before uh, starting this video uh, so uh, first of all we we'll discuss that what what are the water walls uh, basically in a uh, very uh, huge and big furnaces they are very high temperature there are there is a threat always a threat to uh, damage a refractory so to prevent the refractory inside um, an, uh, a big furnace due to high temperature we use uh, water walls water walls are basically uh, is a, like a bundle of tubes uh, parallel to each other and they and they are um, they uh, just like they are paced on the wall of the furnace to protect the uh, refractory from damage and then um, uh, uh, we discuss what are the main purpose of the water walls uh, its purpose is to protect insulated walls means that uh, our main thing is our refractory and to increase the steam generation uh, the purpose of water wall is to absorb maximum heat and increase the steam generation and uh, other third purpose is to make furnace wall airtight uh, it will help us to make furnace airtight so that no leakage can occur mm, and advantages what are the advantages of water walls uh, increasing heating heating surface it will increase the heating surface and uh, efficiency of boiler is increased uh, also uh, steam generation capacity increase and water circulation become very uh, frequent and very good increase heat transfer control furnace temperature furnace temperature control is a very important thing because it is uh, a very um, uh, important factor uh, regarding NOx control so uh, in this uh, by using the water wall we can control the production of NOx uh, it reduces heat losses and increase fuel efficiency and it protect the refractory as I, uh, I already have said if water walls are having only 10% heating surface this is this is a very important part of the water walls that if uh, in your heating surface there are only 10% water wall then it will it will absorb 50% of our heat so this was the purpose and advantages of water wall now we go toward the types of water wall uh, there are following four types of the water wall. First is plain water walls, other is fins water wall, uh, third one is studded water wall, and fourth is membrane water wall. So now, now we discuss one by one. Uh, plain water walls, as we have seen that plain water walls, plain means smooth. Uh, uh, you have seen the uh, boiler tubes uh, uh, which are plain uh, uh, and simply it is a bundle of uh, uh, it is a bundle or uh, wall of tubes of plain uh, plain tubes smooth tubes uh, if, if the uh, uh, furnace wall is constructed with the plain tubes then it is called the plain water wall tubes uh, it is so simple and next one is membrane water wall a uh, membrane water walls is used in a uh, pulverized cold boiler or uh, in boiler in which uh, there is a lot of clinker and uh, in the um, uh, coal are impure and there is a, a very high sludge or uh, foreign particles in the coal uh, so in this case uh, if we use uh, the water walls uh, like this plain water tube walls you have seen that there there are clear gaps in these tubes and uh, the clinker and dust will go inside the in this space and uh, Due, due to uh, enrich in sulfur in the fuel uh, so uh, equine will occur in this uh, space between the tubes so so to prevent this in pulverized cold boiler we use the membrane water wall membrane water walls is in this membrane water wall the gap between the two tubes is uh, filled by a plate as you have seen in the simple sketch and uh, in the real picture you have seen that uh, the gaps between the, between the tubes are filled completely with the plate and I have uh, purpose of this I have already told you now go to the next one next one is studded water walls uh, studded water wall basically are uh, like uh, as it is previous but there are uh, some uh, addition into it 
uh, there are studs in the surface of the tubes as you see in this sketch that there are number of studs on the surface of the tubes uh, around its uh, circular uh, area and the purpose of this stud is to uh, prevent uh, the other side means the um, uh, uh, refractory side and the wall of the uh, furnace from overheating uh, in in some design there is a refractory behind these uh, studs and in some and in some uh, types uh, refractory is uh, refractory ref refractory is paste on these studs as you have seen in your sketch that first of all studs are makes and then they are filled with the refractory uh, this is uh, one design and other design may be the refractory behind these tubes so this was uh, studded water walls Next one is plain tangential water wall. Uh, this this is this is a subtype of the plain water walls. Uh, addition is only this that tubes are in tangential, uh, in tangential form to increase the uh, water uh, to increase the steam generation or to increase the uh, capacity of steam. Uh, some tubes make tangential. So this is a type of plain water wall tubes. Uh, last one is fins water wall tubes fins water wall tubes is not more different than plain water wall tubes or uh, membrane water wall tubes uh, it is just only an uh, addition that uh, in the plain tubes we use uh, fins tube uh, fin fins tubes may be used in the membrane water wall may be used as uh, uh, as a separate water wall just only uh, fins on the tubes and uh, uh, you have seen uh, you see in the picture that there is a f uh, there are a lot of fins on the tubes uh, its purpose is to increase the heating surface and to absorb maximum heat to increase the efficiency and uh, capacity of uh, uh, boiler so uh, this was uh, the types of water walls and this uh, a short video we have discussed a lot of things about water walls uh, in which we have discussed the uh, types of water walls, uh, advantages and purpose of water walls. So guys, uh, kindly subscribe my channel uh, to uh, so that the, you uh, receive the video and also press the bell icon button. Uh, see you in the next video and with a new topic.